Okay, uh, today we're gonna do a camera bag unboxing and then we're gonna fill it with some camera stuff. So, let's just go to a nicest setup, shall we? <laughs> now that we have that sorted, what's up everybody? My name is Timothy, welcome to this channel and if you've been here before, welcome back. I have been rolling with the same old $50 camera bag from the last camera bag video I made from I think two years ago, it, like an Amazon basic one, and I thought it was time to upgrade, so obviously I went with brevity. Uh, hopefully I can get this open. Wow. Oh, it just feels nice. It feels really nice. It is beautiful. Okay, it feels really great. First thing I'm gonna say is there's a ton of padding. Two, it feels really solid. Uh, but the zippers, like this, the zippers only go that far. I'm gonna be quite honest, this bag is so small, I don't know how this is gonna carry my everyday carry. This, I, <laughs> and I say that because I've already laid out everything that I carry with me on a daily basis, whether I'm going on a hike, if I'm just going out to the city to shoot. And I know for a fact, this bag is not gonna fit anything in it. However, on the bright side, this bag might actually force me to minimize my everyday carry, thus making me think about it more before I put it in the bag. This is a bright side to everything. Now let's get started with camera bodies. Now my main camera setup and my everyday shooting would be my Canon R with my 16 to 35 EF lens. Now that's filming this video, so I'm gonna substitute it with what I carry as my backup camera, which is my Canon RP with a 24 to 105 RF lens. Now I know for a fact I'm not gonna be compromising on a second lens, so the 16 to 35 with the EF to RF adapter would be the second lens that goes in here, but I'm gonna substitute it with the 70 to 200 because once the 16 to 35 has the EF to RF adapter, it's roughly about the same length. So I'm gonna put that right in this corner. Fits one camera body, two lenses pretty well. Now this is definitely one thing that is just important to me as my camera is. So if my camera is leaving the house, this is leaving the house with it. This is a variable ND filter. This one specifically is the one for moment. Now I usually leave these on my lenses when I'm packing to leave the house. But for today's sake, I'm gonna put it in a protective case. Pretend like I am a good camera owner. Let's be real, that very blending filter is cracked to all hell. Now the second filter I usually tend not to leave the house without is my Dream FX filter from Prism Lens Effects. This just gives everything such a dreamy feel that I carry it just in case because more often than not, when I leave the house, I'm always wishing I had it on me. So I'd rather carry it and not need it than need it and not have it. This one's like a bonus, word to the wise, don't leave home without a battery pack. If you have one of the newer iPhones and you have a MagSafe battery pack, carry it with you. You're always gonna need it. So that goes in there. And lastly is a microphone. Now, just by looking at it, I know for a fact the microphone's not gonna fit in here. It's a Rode Video Go, I think this is called. Yeah, this is not fitting in here. As much as I'd like it to, it's not gonna fit in here, so. I know my Rode Video Micro would, so let's just count it as the Rode Video Micro will fit in here. But that's pretty much what it looks like filled. I've already cut out one camera body and a couple of filters. But anyway, now there is a little zipper on the front of the backpack. Sorry, we have to lift it up this high. The desk is too low for you to see, so. Anyway, the zipper only opens halfway, which is kind of good so things don't fall out of the backpack. Now, what do I carry other than the camera stuff? SD card holder. How <laughs> many of you actually take your SD cards out of your cameras when they're full, and then you put it in your pocket? Stop. Stop doing that. I think I got this on Amazon a few years ago for about between 10 and $15. Use it. It holds, it holds 12, 12 memory cards, guys. Like, and micro SD cards. It holds 12 micro SD cards as well. So spend the 10 bucks. You're rolling around with a couple thousand dollar camera, $10, save your SD cards. 
So that one is gonna go right in the front pocket, right there. Never leave home without it. I've done it a few times, so I've learned my lesson. Extra batteries. One, two, three, four. Four extra batteries for the USR. Now the top part of this bag has a zipper, so you can keep your valuables, like if you wanna keep your wallet, if you're going on a short trip, maybe your passport, your wires for your chargers, your, I don't know what else you use wires for, but whatever, wires go in here. Uh, but what I am planning to do is put my portable SSD. Now this is the SanDisk one terabyte SSD. It's so small and so light. Ah, anyway, that goes in there. Then we have the M1 iPad Pro, which needs to go in there because it's very, pretty close to a laptop. It's not quite there, but it's also not a tablet. It's like this most perfect little baby between them. So I always carry this because it keeps me entertained. I can edit on the go and I can transfer files. Now you can't transfer files directly from your SD card, which is why you also need a dongle, an adapter, whatever this is, a dongle, an adapter dongle. This one is made by Anchor. It comes with a headphone jack, an SD card reader, a micro SD card reader, a USB, a USB-C, and an HDMI. So carry this because then you can plug in your SD card into this and your SSD, plug it into your iPad, drag and drop, boom, you're done backing up your files while you're still on location. So now there's still all of this space in this top compartment left over. Now you could put snacks in there, a change of socks and underwear if you're going like camping. I don't think a whole outfit would fit in there, but you could try, I guess, if you're really good at folding. And finally, the piece of camera gear for YouTubers that has not gotten old yet. That is a gorilla pod, obviously, because duh. That is my everyday carry, but I'm not done with the bag yet because this little feature that allows you to access your camera from the side while the backpack is still on your arm, like this, being able to access this and just take that and shoot, Love it, love it. I know a ton of photographers hate it, but I actually hate, hate front access because I have this weird, irrational feeling that while I'm walking or I'm waiting at the train station, someone's just gonna unzip my bag and take all my shit. I'm one of those dudes that wears their bags like this when I'm in public because I'm like, thousands of dollars a year. Two more last things, I promise. Here's a little space in case you had like a little trolley suitcase. Slide that in there. Just roll on, roll on through. I don't know who's gonna travel with this backpack because damn, I need to watch some videos of you guys packing what you take, but I would never travel with this bag. If I was going four days in New York City or like a week in LA, I'm not taking this bag. Too little. Too little, okay? And we're at the part of the video where I tell you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Smash that like button. You don't have to if you don't want to, but it does help with the algorithm. So, I'm done. Oh, I'm doing a camera review and I haven't even tried the backpack on. Not a camera review, camera. Man, it's too early for this. See ya. What am I gonna be? Goodbye.